Messy Church! Hello everybody and welcome back to Messy Church. Hope you had an amazing half term. I sure did. Okay, so this week we are going to introduce you, first of all, we're going to introduce you to our new Messy Church song. So have a, have a nice time and listen to this. songs which I hope you will enjoy. Okay, enjoy Messy Church! Show and honor, 
Welcome to today's Bible reading from 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4 to 6. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. Now time for this week's craft. What you're going to need for this craft is lots of different coloured paper, um, a plate, some ribbon, a heart-shaped cookie cutter, scissors, glue, and some markers and a pencil. First things first, we're going to get a piece of coloured paper and outline the heart-shaped cookie cutter in the middle. After that, you're going to get your scissors and cut the heart out. Remember to do this several times and ask an adult or guardian if you need help. Next thing, you're going to get your plate and outline it and then cut it out to make a round thing, to make a round circle. After this, you're going to write God is love in the middle. Ta-da! Okay, now the most imp the funnest part. You're going to get your several coloured heart-shaped um, pieces of paper and glue them on. Make it look, maybe look, make it look like a bit like a pretty pattern. Once you've finished, it should look a little like this, but I'm sure you guys did a much better job. If you want, you can punch some holes in it and put something in there and tie it somewhere important in your house. Or you can get some blue tack and stick it on the wall in your room, or maybe in the kitchen. Thank you for this craft. See you at the next activity. Psalm 95, 1-4 Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before Him with thanksgiving and extol Him with music and song. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before Him with thanksgiving and soul Him with music and song. Come
joy to the Lord. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Hello boys and girls and welcome back to the Chaplin Studio. Hope you had a really wonderful half term. I know that I did, but I'm really excited now that I am here with you in today's messy church. Now earlier on we heard one of the bunters share from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And I've titled this passage love is now let me ask you a question what are your gifts and talents i'm sure many of you are talented sportsmen and women or great artists or or great musicians perhaps some of you are really good at math or writing things in english perhaps some of you are great actors or some of you uh, have the ability to to think about things that that perhaps some of us aren't so gifted at thinking about perhaps some of us are good at serving other people or some of us are good at encouraging other people and you know what it's wonderful boys and girls that each and every one of us does have god-given gifts and talents so don't worry if you don't think you're gifted because there is a talent that i know that god has given you but let me tell you this none of those gifts or talents are worth anything unless there is love in your heart. You see, in this piece of scripture, Paul was writing to the people of Corinth. He was telling them, look, listen, you guys are a talented bunch of people, but stop arguing over who thinks they have the best gift and talent. Instead, Put love in your heart because all of those gifts and talents mean nothing unless there is love in your heart. And then he goes on to share what love is. He says this, love is patient, love is kind, love does not envy, love does not boast, love is not proud, love does not dishonor others love is not self-seeking love is not easily angered love keeps no record of wrong love does not delight in evil love rejoices in the truth love protects love trusts love has hope love perseveres love never fails you know boys and girls when i read that i'm reminded of what love is and what I should be showing in my heart to other boys and girls, to the people around us. So that when they see me, they don't see the gifts and talents that Mr. Hackman's trying to say, look how great I am. But instead, they're seeing the gifts and talents that God has given me and delivered to the people around us in love. So remember, boys and girls, you are gifted and talented, but also remember this, just as Paul says, have love in your heart in all that you do. Well, in a minute, we're going to hear our final prayer and then Charlotte is going to come and end our session today, introducing us to this week's art gallery. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye. Dear Lord, I thank you that you love us. Please help us to show your love to others. Amen. Next Things Next is our art gallery. If you want your art in the art gallery, 
make sure to send your craft this week to this email address on the screen right now so i'll leave you with the art gallery and thank you so much for watching have an amazing rest of your day bye Church. Church.